Hello my beautiful Cancer, happy birthday and welcome to your early July 2023 reading. I hope you're doing well. We're going to start with some general messages first before we take a look and see what's going on for you in the love department. Now the message I'm getting for you is that luck is on your side right now, believe it or not. The only thing that can really get in the way of your luck is your self-limiting beliefs. Okay, so the ladybird is here, it's saying all of your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations will be heard, but so will your self-limiting beliefs. So what story are you telling yourself? Are you telling yourself that you can't do something because you've tried and you've tried and it hasn't come about as you had hoped? There's a, there's a need to find a different way of looking at a problem. Okay. Um, because paths are opening up for you. You've got the otter. It's a card about initiations. It's saying be open through this transitional time. So changes are on the way, but you're going to need to um, change your way of thinking. It's time to upgrade. That's what your cards are saying. So what is the most limiting belief keeping you from what you want right now? The other message I'm getting for you is find a schedule that works for you. So some of you, the problem is going to be time management. You feel like there's not enough hours in the day to accomplish what you want. So you might need to make some adjustments. All right. While we're on that, we're going to have a look and see what's going on for you in work. And then we'll see what's happening in the love front. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is going on for cancer. Yeah, see, there's a need for you to take action steps. Action is key to getting to where you want to go. You can't wait around. So take a step in any direction and get unstuck in order to find opportunities. So you are going through a transitional time because you've got the short term card. So some of you could be, you know, working um, temporarily somewhere. You might be like under a contract. Spirit is saying, don't be too attached to this job or this role. Don't worry, you will find something that's even more fulfilling um, and maybe long term and secure if that's what you're wanting. Okay. Yeah, but they're asking you to make some big plans for the future and take calculated risks. Obviously, save um, so you have something to fall back on. But I don't feel like I need to tell you that, Cancer, because you are probably the most frugal sign of the zodiac. When you think about the crab, you know, you, you hold on to your resources quite tightly, sometimes to a fault, because you need to remember that we sometimes block the flow of our abundance by holding on too tightly to what we have. You know, we can't really accept new opportunities and new resources if we're holding on too tightly to, to what we have. Okay. All right, let's see. Some of you might need to kind of um, do a short term stint um, to save up some money to where you want to go. This card is saying it's okay to have a, a temporary job that's not very glamorous. It's, you know, it's just a stepping stone. Um, it's an it's an opportunity to get some experience maybe for some of you and it will eventually help you move up in the future so the message is to remember success is a process it's not a quick fix all right so you're getting clear about what action you need to take um, before you can make some moves or move on all right you're getting insights into what kind of work is going to best serve your needs that's what I'm seeing. All right. Now, let's have a look and see what is happening in love. All right. We'll make some room. Okay. Angels and spirit, please show me what is going on for cancer in love. What is going on for cancer in love, please, spirit? What is happening for cancer in love? There's a lack of clarity. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Maybe a lack of communication. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What is going on for Cancer in love? What is going on for Cancer in love, please, Spirit? I feel like some of you could just be focusing on your own happiness. 
definitely feels like a lack of communication for some of you. What's going on for Cancer in Love? Yeah, we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. There is some kind of conflict happening and a desire to resolve it. You know, the Five of Swords in the reverse can be you know, wanting to repair what's been broken. Um, the Five of Swords is generally about power struggles, someone wanting to have it their way or the highway. And so you weren't able to reach a compromise with someone. We have the Temperance in the reverse. So the Temperance card is about balance, moderation, compromising, um, two substances blending to become one. So when that card is in the reverse, it's like you weren't able to achieve that with someone. Um, we have divine counterparts here, but they're not, um, that there's something coming between them. Um, and it's the Knight of Wands. That could be travel. Um, it could be someone acting in a way that's like the Knight of Wands, someone who's in and out. We definitely have the divine counterparts are here. We have the King and the Queen of Cups, but one of them is in the uh, reverse position. So someone's a little bit emotionally unavailable or unable to express themselves. That's definitely coming through again with the High Priestess in the reverse. So they're unable to open up about something. You know, I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune and this Strength card, someone could be resisting change, but I also feel that it's been a tough time. You know, the Strength card comes out when you've had to endure something difficult, when you've had to call on your inner strength. Um, let's see. Again, we've got Divine Counterparts, but one of them is in the reverse position. The, the King and the Queen of Swords. The Queen this time is in the reverse position. Very interesting. Yeah, so there's a lot of confusion. Not only do we have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, but we have the Moon. So you don't know where you stand. Your person doesn't know where you stand. But there is a desire where they stand, sorry. There is a desire to kind of pick up the pieces. Not only do we have the Five of Swords in the reverse, but we have the tower in the reverse. So the tower in the reverse, when it comes to love, it can be like a close call. Conflict that doesn't quite end the relationship, but it does create chaos. So there's indecision here and, and no clear way forward at the moment. Two of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Alright, so let's have a look and see what your person of interest would say to you. Just bear with me while I get the deck that I want. Alright. What does Cancer's person want to say to Cancer, please, Spirit? What does Cancer's person want to say to Cancer? In early July 2023, Cancer's person of interest, what would they say to Cancer, please? What do they want to say to Cancer? This con this connection confuses me. What did I say? There's a lack of clarity. There's a lot of confusion. This person doesn't know what to do. Show me, please, Spirit. What does this person want to say to Cancer? They love everything about you. So it's not for lack of love. They don't feel good enough for you. And they do love you, they just don't know how to show it right now. What do I want to say to Cancer, please, Ruth? They really miss you, okay? So for many of you who are not communicating right now, this person wants to return to you. They're really missing you. They're not ignoring you. They're thinking about the connection. You are like no other right? They can't get you off their mind, but they don't know how to have a healthy relationship. 
This person is resistant to change, as I said to you, with the Strength card and the Wheel of Fortune. They love you, but they're not sure how this is going to change their life. So they're not willing to make some changes in their lifestyle. Um, they find this connection to be quite intense, or maybe you're put, giving them, the, you're putting the hard word on them, maybe giving them an ultimatum. And that's why we could have seen that Knight of Wands. They're worried about you moving on. You know, you could have drawn a line in the sand. You could have put a boundary down. And, you know, you're waiting for this person to respond. Spirit is saying there's nothing else you can do to kind of affect this situation or influence it. There's nothing you could have done differently to convince this person to to change, like to, to make a decision or take some kind of action. Spirit is saying this. There's lessons in this challenge, and everything is as it should be. Yeah, so a decision definitely needs to be made. We saw that with the two of wands in the reverse. Now, if it's going to be made by you, this card says. Trust that whatever choice you make, love will find you again. Don't stay out of fear. Don't stay out of fear that you're not going to find anyone better than this person, you know, that kind of thing. The fears that we tell ourselves are sometimes very irrational. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What does Cancer need to know in love in early July? After no contact, they're wondering if they've lost you. They expected you to call, okay? This is a test. There's something about a test. This whole experience is testing you. You know, have you learned your lesson? You might have felt that this, um, there's a pattern here. You know, you could have been in a similar position before with someone else. Now, they, they've seen that you've, gone through some kind of glow up maybe some of you have changed your hair um and you know they've noticed just know that they've noticed they're worried that you might have moved on they definitely want you back um and the the lesson or the test could have something to do with your need to embrace independence you're meant to learn how to be alone so that you can thrive by your own efforts and be your own hero. Okay. I feel like if you stay strong, this person is going to make a return. That's a strong message I'm getting, okay? So let's have a look at your advice. I'm going to use a deck that I made. Let me just find it. Okay, so I gave them a shuffle and we got some really interesting cards. Some of them do um, coincide with, not coincide, but they, they relate to the messages we got at the very beginning about your limiting beliefs. It's this one. It says, when we take responsibility for what we're experiencing as coming from our beliefs, we have the power to change the situation. Now, You've got, often in relationships when healing is taking place, we experience uncomfortable side effects and things seem to get worse. But healing is simply taking place and hidden poisons are coming to the surface. Keep the vision you have for the relationship. So don't waver, right? Because when you, you're caught up in situations that appear to be going badly, the universe is always on the side of the good. So... If you've honored yourself and your feelings and you've conducted yourself with integrity and, you know, maybe they've done something wrong to you and you're holding your ground and that might be why you've, you've laid down the law or you've given them an ultimatum. Remember that spirit will always reveal what needs to be revealed and do what needs to be done. Sometimes that's, you know breaking up a relationship altogether the universe will intervene if it's not for the greater good but i don't feel like that in this case i feel like you've got someone who wants to come crawling back with their tail between their legs but in the meantime just reflect because you've got a card that's saying past heartbreak will be part of your present relationship until it's healed so you may need to heal something once and for all, especially if you feel like there's similarities between this experience right now 
and a past experience. Your willingness to communicate about where the pain is coming from will free and open you. All right, so let's see what your person's vices are. Who are you dealing with? What are you contending with right now? What are their shadow sides? Can we please Cancer's person's vices? What are Cancer's person's vices, please, Spirit? It could be a little bit aggressive. Yeah, remember we got the Five of Swords and I said it's someone wants to have it their way or the highway. So they're being stubborn. Um, angels and spirit, please show me what, if, what are the shadow, what are the vices of Cancer's person? Yeah, they've got an ego. We've got pride. So they're letting pride get in the way. Um, we've got martyr. So they might kind of not play the victim, but um, it says, I suffer for my beliefs. So they make things more difficult than they need to be. We've got sex is my weakness. So you might want to use that to your advantage, Cancer. If sex is their weakness, then just hold off. And then, you know, there's only so long this person can kind of hold out. Now, we've got elitist. They kind of act like they're better than everyone. And I feel like that's why you're drawing the line. You don't want them to feel entitled anymore. You want them to respect you. So that's what I'm getting. Now, let's finish the reading with a love message from the Crystal Spirit deck. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Cancer's message? What is the love message for early July 2023, please? What's Cancer's love message, please, Spirit? I've got Kyanite. Obviously, there's a need to communicate. The blue um, crystals are connected to the throat chakra. Yeah, so it's about resolving disputes. It's about diplomacy, restoring harmony, mending fences and building bridges. So you may be right and you might have the best idea in the room, but Kyanite is here to tell you that in this moment, you're called to be the bigger person, the diplomat seeking to connect on a level of mutual understanding. There was a reason you wanted to connect with this person and now you have the power to do so in a healthy way that honors you and them. So there's a need to meet in the middle. It can't be anyone's way or the highway, right? So they will learn from your modeling of diplomacy. You might be surprised by how much more readily your wisdom is heard when you reach out in love before trying to sway someone with logic. Mend fences and then watch how much easier it is to harmonize with another. It's possible you've attracted a relationship where you're doing all of the emotional work and the other person takes and sucks up all of your energy. If so, Kyanite reminds you that you can always say no and end things if a balance can't be reached. If this is your choice, know that it's okay to free yourself from the conflict. So Cancer, I hope this reading was helpful. Do leave me feedback in the comment section below. That really, really helps me out. And I look forward to uploading another Cancer video in the very near future. Enjoy your birthday. Bye.